We've all heard comparisons such as how atoms resemble solar systems and how the structure of the universe is similar to neurons in our brains. It's noteworthy that the quantity of stars in a galaxy, galaxies in the universe, atoms in a cell, and cells in a living being are all approximately the same colossal number, ranging between 10 to the power of 11 to 10 to the power of 14. About 77% of the brain consists of water, whereas approximately 69% of the universe is comprised of dark energy. These substances play passive roles with indirect effects in their respective structures. This raises intriguing questions. Could we be akin to cells within a colossal organism, albeit on a planetary scale, which has not yet realized its existence? How might we even begin to ascertain this? Directly answering such a question proves challenging since our understanding of consciousness and self-awareness isn't absolute. Nonetheless, we possess certainties about various physical aspects that aid us in approximating the best possible answer to this question. These certainties include the age of the universe, the duration during which various entities have been capable of communication, the size of the largest gravitationally bound structures, and the quantity of signals exchanged among bound and unbound structures of different sizes. By conducting these calculations and comparing them with observed processes in even the simplest brain-like structures, we can approximate an answer to this question. This approach allows us to explore whether large-scale cosmic sentient structures might exist within the universe. Undoubtedly, consciousness exists within the universe. Human beings like you and me serve as evidence of that. We are self-aware creatures with a keen perception of our surroundings, engaging in interactions with one another. While some philosophers entertain the notion of solipsism, that the self is the only certain existence, our everyday interactions refute this, indicating the existence of consciousness, whether singular or plural, in the universe. However, a significant inquiry arises as we contemplate the concept of consciousness. To what extent does it extend? While we remain uncertain about the nature of consciousness, we do recognize that entities we consider capable of thought, such as the brain, boast extensive connections and facilitate the transmission of copious amounts of information through these connections. Even disregarding our limited comprehension of consciousness, the high connectivity and rapid signal transmission observed in the brain suggest structural similarities between the universe and the brain, prompting speculation regarding comparable cognitive capacities. It appears that both the universe and the brain engage in the reception and integration of information. Essentially, the complexity and information processing evident within our brains may manifest at both the grandest and most minuscule scales of the universe. The notion that the universe resembles a living organism or a brain is not novel, with origins dating back to at least 500 BC when Anaxagoras, an ancient Greek philosopher, posited the idea of a guiding force called nous, steering the universe towards greater organization and purpose. While Anaxagoras' theory doesn't align precisely with modern scientific views, ongoing discoveries prompt reconsideration of whether the universe might share similarities with living organisms and their evolutionary networks. In August 2022, theoretical physicist Sabine Hassenfelder authored an article for Time magazine titled Maybe the Universe Thinks, Hear Me Out. In this piece, she draws parallels between the structure of the universe and the human nervous system. Analogous to our nervous system, the universe exhibits a highly interconnected and hierarchical organization. Galaxies, estimated to number around 200 billion, form clusters under the influence of gravity, which then coalesce into even larger clusters interconnected by galactic filaments, long threads of galaxies. These mammoth structures bear resemblance to the dendritic networks found in the human brain, with vast voids interspersed between them, akin to the spaces between neurons. When viewing the entire cosmos, these structures evoke the connectome of the brain, which represents the complete wiring diagram formed by neurons and their connections. Hassenfelder discusses a study by a physicist and a neuroscientist who meticulously examined the similarities between the cosmic web and the connectome, finding remarkable resemblances based on shared mathematical properties. This led her to contemplate whether the universe might possess thinking capabilities. However, structural similarities alone do not imply cognitive abilities. Just as a lifeless brain lacks thoughts, the universe necessitates more than mere structure to think. Cognitive function demands neuronal signaling wherein electrical messages traverse the brain. But what form of signaling might the universe employ along its galactic filaments, and could it support some form of cosmic intelligence? The vastness of the universe presents challenges. Even at the speed of light, signals would take billions of years to traverse the cosmos to reach our nearest galaxy. Considering the universe's immense size and expansion, the feasibility of any form of cosmic-scale information processing akin to brain functions seems improbable. 
Hassenfelder considers the prospect of concealed connections that could facilitate faster signaling, such as quantum entanglement or other non-local phenomena, hinting at a deeper level of organization transcending space and time. In a section titled Everything is Connected, she elucidates how a universe with non-local connections could rationalize various phenomena. If these speculations hold true, the universe may be replete with miniature portals linking seemingly distant locales. Physicists Feimaru and Lee Molin estimated that our universe could harbor as many as 10 to the power of 360 such non-local connections. Since these connections defy locality, they remain unaffected by the universe's expansion. By comparison, the human brain boasts around 10 to the power of 15 connections. Though highly speculative, this concept could elucidate recent observations of synchronicities between structures across the universe. Studies have noted coherence in the movements of galaxies millions of light years apart and unusual alignments in the rotations of supermassive black holes and distant quasars. These findings hint at possible non-local connections between disparate systems in the universe, too numerous to dismiss as mere coincidence. If substantiated, this implies that the universe might facilitate large-scale computation or thinking akin to what Hassenfelder proposed. While sounding far-fetched, the notion of an intelligent universe aligns with current understanding, albeit presently untestable and categorized more as philosophy than science. Nonetheless, one may wonder if it truly lies beyond the scope of scientific inquiry. Exploring consciousness is a captivating yet elusive endeavor. Pinpointing its precise definition, function, and evolutionary purpose proves challenging. The concept extends beyond humans, potentially encompassing other living organisms and even non-living systems. Thomas Edison's observation that every atom possesses a degree of primitive intelligence underscores the expansive nature of consciousness, suggesting its presence in entities beyond traditional living beings. Traditionally, consciousness is perceived as an individual phenomenon, but emerging studies like the Global Consciousness Project entertain the idea of a collective or interconnected consciousness that transcends individual boundaries. This paradigm shift broadens the scope of exploration, inviting inquiry into interconnected aspects of consciousness beyond individual experiences. Regarding the human brain, consciousness often refers to neural communication and activity, as well as its interaction with the body. However, in a broader context, consciousness can simply be defined as a recognizable experience. The Oxford Dictionary of Psychology describes it as the normal mental condition characterized by perceptions, thoughts, feelings, and awareness of the external world. Despite efforts to define consciousness, scientists lack a unified theory and understanding of its nature and origins. Debates persist about which entities possess consciousness, with no consensus reached among experts. Additionally, the concept of cosmic interconnectedness suggests subtle relationships beyond direct observation or measurement, challenging conventional physical boundaries. Philosophical and spiritual traditions propose deeper, non-physical connections among universal entities, such as shared consciousness or a universal energy. Viewing consciousness as an inherent aspect of the cosmos implies fundamental unity and interdependence. This uncertainty extends to the existence of consciousness in other organisms or even inanimate objects. The concept of panpsychism posits that consciousness is inherent in all matter, suggesting that even the most fundamental particles possess conscious experience. This notion challenges the traditional view that consciousness emerges solely from neuronal interactions in the brain. In physics, theories like integrated information theory, IIT, propose that consciousness is not inherently biological but a calculable property present wherever there's sufficient complexity and integration of systems. This theory suggests that even isolated particles interacting in space could exhibit rudimentary consciousness. The idea of a proto-consciousness field in quantum mechanics suggests that inherent uncertainty in quantum systems could be a form of consciousness at work. John Archibald Wheeler proposed that every piece of matter contains a fragment of consciousness absorbed from a primordial field of proto-consciousness, highlighting the deep connection between observation and reality manifestation. Cosmic consciousness challenges our understanding of the universe, suggesting a living, evolving entity where life and consciousness are natural outcomes of cosmic evolution. Every conscious being, from humans to animals to potentially inanimate objects, is interconnected through a universal consciousness, prompting contemplation about individuality and interconnectedness. Scientific evidence supports physical interconnectedness at various scales while exploring consciousness and its interconnections remains a subject of ongoing research and philosophical inquiry. As our understanding deepens, we discover unity in the interconnectedness of everything, blurring the boundaries between self and the universe.
From the era of Newtonian mechanics to the age of artificial intelligence, our perceptions of the universe evolve, reflecting a progressively deeper understanding of reality. As scientific knowledge expands, we unravel more about the dynamics and structure of the universe, inviting further exploration into the nature of consciousness and our place within the cosmic tapestry. Thank you for joining us today on Why. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Keep waiting for another exciting why? Adventure, and until then, stay curious and stay tuned. This is Why, signing off.